as he hedged his bets, tried to get the cue ball towards the ball end of the table. Missing the pot, One. just lost the cue ball, so it's first chance, Judd. And this, as Neil says, intriguing the side and frame. Will he choose to attack the cluster at the first opportunity, which is after Eight. this red? Nine. He won't be doing it, doing it just yet. Too straight in the black. <coughs> A really nice pack to go into from the blue. So maybe that was in his mind. Sixteen. Just said earlier, Phil, we know he can play with his right hand, but the one on the edge of the pack there. Too high a degree of difficulty attached to that. Playing it as a deep screw, so it's top side of the Seven. blue. As I say, this is a better choice for me. Big target. Just hit the pink in the, the left hand side of it as we see it. Well, that was the crown shot. It could have been a lot better, but then again, it could have been 22. a whole lot worse. He just caught the right hand side of the pink. Going to lose the cue ball over that side. Twenty-three. Superb. Not quite on the right side of the blue to come down for an easy pot, but he will be delighted to have deposited that one. Yeah, he's looking at the possible plant. The two reds together. He'll only play for it if it's dead set. That's a good shot covering the spot there for a lefty. This is now quite a straightforward shot in the red. If anything is straightforward, it side and frame. Choices can screw back for pink or soft stun for black. 29. What do you think, Alan? He scored 133 more points in this match than his opponent, and yet it's on a knife edge. Yeah, they see the points scored. The only numbers that concern these two lads right now is the frame score. That's another good shot. Almost created an angle out of nothing. 36. Forcing it up. Such a good shot, he's landed the choice of reds. Thirty-seven. It's still quite early days, but this increasingly looks all over bar the shouting. Forty-three. Forty-four. Oh, no. 
No, sir. I don't think he's on it. Not the easy one, anyway. 51. I'll have to work the cue ball to get up for pink off this. Oh, that's a fabulous shot. 52. Fifty-nine. He stayed down on that, you know. His heart was in his mouth. He thought he'd caught the near jaw. He's so relieved. Sixty-five. Yeah, he did. He thought he'd missed it. Sixty six. Been some performance. Double. Anthony McGill's fought very hard all afternoon. But it looks like Judd Trump's going to be the man to prevail. Seventy one. And go into the match against John Higgins this evening. And for the little anthology 72. of matches, I think John and Judd in their careers. Tonight's going to be another one. And even though it's a 4-3 scoreline, you have to say, I think Trump has been the better player in this match. 78. Yeah, I have to agree, he's been a shade the better player, obviously scored heavier, but it's been a good showing from Anthony there. I'll be disappointed, but I feel sure he'll be back. 78. That, by the way, is not a trick white. <laughs> 86. <laughs> 87. The only question now, can Trump make it a hat-trick of centuries? 94. Ninety-five. Confirmation: a trio of trumpetons. One hundred and two. Hundred and three. What a break. What a player. 105. 107. Ten. Hundred and fourteen. Hundred and nineteen. Twenty-five. 
just magical. Trump triumphs. It's been a great week to be called Trump. Hail to the chief, yes.